disrupt America that I thought was a weird thing to happen. <laughs> So Vivek Ramswamy, the little car salesman of politics, as people have pointed out, uh, recently had an interview with Ann Coulter. I guess going back to the greatest hits always works in favor for people. Uh, he brings on Ann Coulter, and Ann Coulter has some interesting words for Vivek Ramswamy, even though he, she apparently likes him. He doesn't like him for a very, very kind of obvious reason to her. And it just amazes me that people blurt this right out in the open. Uh, but no stranger in Ann Coulter. Listen to this. And that's why I brought on today somebody who I think has some thoughtful perspectives on the future direction of our country, of our conservative movement, and on this question of nationalism and national identity. Somebody who I've been fascinated for, by for a long time and have interacted with on social media, but for the first time we're having a, at least live form conversation in the offline sense of it, it's Ann Coulter. So. First of all, can I just say, I know that it was Jimmy Dore that kind of coined the phrase of him being a car salesman. That's more, and more likely on the fact that his kind of sly, sleek measures of describing his policies does sound very like car salesman-like. Look at look at even the way he sits, even the way like it looks like you're at a dealership office ready to hand off a lease payment to a lemon. That's the that's why I look that's why I see in Vivek Ramswamy in that perspective. And Coulter, on the other hand, <laughs> definitely looks amazing. I mean, she resembles what the evil Annabelle doll would grow up to be. Wow. I mean, even the light is trying to fade away from her. <laughs> like I said, going back to the greatest hits and Coulter. Remember those days? Remember those days? Bill Maher uh, brought her back to fame. And now here she is with Vivek Ransawami. And she blurts things that, you know, only Ann Coulter would be proud of her to say. So, Ann, thanks for coming on. and. I'm looking forward to our conversation today. Me too. Thanks for having me. That was a fantastic opening monologue. Uh, I too am a fan of yours. I'm going to make a point of disagreeing with you so that it will be fun. Um, yeah. You are so bright and articulate, and I guess I can call you articulate since you're not an American black. Um, can't can't say that about them. That's, that's derogatory. Um, and that was a great opening segment. Lots of things to talk about there. Oh, and I agreed with many, many things you said during in fact, probably more than than most other candidates um, when you were running for president, but I still would not have voted for you um, because you're an Indian. We'll get back to that. Um, I mean, you're such a great guy and I want to talk for you for hours and you have great policies and, oh, by the way, you're an Indian. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can vote for you. Oh, the famous lyrics of Ann Coulter. <laughs> I like you. But I'm not ever going to vote for you because you're not the shade I am. God. You want to hear that again? You want to hear it? This is amazing. And she's proud to just openly say this. Just has no problem whatsoever. Like, yeah, you know, I just wouldn't vote for you because you're 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 Indian. I like you though, but I, I really want to like you, but you know, I my bigot persona gratifies everything about me. And I have to put that ahead of everything else, including policies, logic. Uh um, and that was a great opening segment. Lots of things to talk about there. Segment. Oh, and I agreed with many, many things you said during, in fact, I, probably more than than most but, other candidates but, but, but. Um, when you were running for president. But I still would not have voted for you um, because you're an Indian. We'll get back to that. <laughs> Holy. Um, oh, my 
my god. It cut off early, but uh, after she said that, you know, she's like, oh, we'll circle back around that. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about how big it I truly am. But let, let's talk about how great this is, how great you're having me on, even though I would never vote for you or never cared for you because really you're you're one of them. Is Ann Coulter going to dive into a deep, traumatic incident that she had at Circle K? Oh, damn. Oh, my God. This is just, this is crazy. This is crazy. Well, you know what they say? People that have phobias of people or certain uh, types of people are trying to hide their inner expression of um of who they really are. So I think somewhere out there, if maybe in Ann Coulter's house somewhere, there's probably stacks of Bollywood fan fiction that she's writing erotic stories about. You know what's happening somewhere out there? There's got there's got to be somewhere in her house. Just a huge stack like this of Bollywood erotic fan fiction that she's, you know, writing and imagining and 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 conversing herself every single night. I think I think right now she's working on a little erotic, uh, a little erotica about uh, Apu from The Simpsons. Come on, she just wants a caramel light skinned. Uh, cutie to uh enter her quickie marks if you know what i'm saying <laughs> i kind of you have to feel bad for her because it's been a long long while since a man squishied her <laughs> oh did we go too far did we go too far this is the point where we get canceled. God. Ah, uh, but this is what Ann Coulter is, folks. This is <laughs> this is how I I really enjoyed I really enjoyed talking to you, and you seem like a nice person. But I can't vote for you because you're uh uh well, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Not even hold back, not even hesitation, not even like, a, you know, most most people when they, you know, try to be, try to hide their bigotry, but Ann Coulter just like right at it. <laughs> I think later on the speech, uh, Ann Coulter says, hey, I can't vote for you, Vivek. You're such a nice person and I really want to continue talking to you. Why would I vote for you for president when I need my laptop fix afterwards? Oh, man. These are all jokes, folks. Again, don't try and cancel me. Go and, go and watch our piece we did about uh, cancel culture with uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Go watch the, t the talk we had about political correctness, because, again, <laughs> if you're offended by anything I say, um, I apologize you don't have to watch this, but I'm going to say it. But I think it's it's not as far worse as what she just said to him directly. <laughs> wow. That's, that's just wow. As the things you could say about Vivek. I I never thought you know I'm I'm just not gonna vote for you because you're uh you're an Indian, and I think she has a certain like generational rule where like they have to be they have to be Americanized by like three generations, and he's like the first generation American. Like his parents immigrated here, so apparently that's that's not it's that's not a forte. That's that's not that's not crossing the line for her. Oh, 
That's just wow. And 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 Coulter. Uh, we should send you back to the nineties where you were I know somewhat not relevant than before. <laughs> That's, is this, this is just, this is your comeback. Um, uh, it is a flopper. It is a big flopper. <laughs>